Thank you, Casey. New developments now surrounding the makeshift RV park right in the backyard of a Silmar home. Residents there now clearing out after officials ordered them to vacate the property. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos is there now where some tenants are still packing up their belongings. Annie Rose, good morning. Today is the day. I don't. How is it all going to work? Yeah, that's such a good question, Lauren, because it's a busy morning here. As you can see behind me, there are people packing up that truck, that uh, car as well. This That's a mother that we just spoke to who says that she, her and her child have been renting out a room in one of those RVs, paying anywhere between five and 800 a month to the owner. We understand that there are just over 20 RVs and that a judge has ordered everyone off the property this morning. I asked the owner of the house if she plans on leaving. She says she doesn't know and didn't want to comment. But as you can see in that car, people are preparing to leave. They are packing up their belongings and getting ready to go. Another gentleman who I spoke to says he's been living here for the past four months, paying $800 a month for a room in an RV that he was sharing with one other person, and that there was just simply nowhere else to go. That rent is so expensive throughout Los Angeles that this was one of the cheapest places that he could find. He was left with no other option. Now, I want to bring in Herendia because you live in this community. You can tell us a little bit more about how this has impacted the general area. Uh, well, it's impacted us. We drive here. Yeah. The smell is unbearable mm -hmm. the sight the sound there's a lot of loud music a lot of fighting i don't know what's going on back there because we can only see from here so it's impacted us negatively mm -hmm. because this is uh this shows you how low people can be yeah. getting rich out of people that have nothing to live with no money or anything or work probably you know, you were telling me you're a single mom. It's hard for you to find housing for you, your mom, your daughter. You know, talk about the predicament that a lot of these folks are in because you can sympathize. I can sympathize. I understand, but we always got to look for better, not for worse. We know when it's when, when it's too good to be through, true. It's not true. It's it's not. It's horrible. The conditions they're living in, from what I've seen in the news on TV, mm -hmm. are are the worst. You could look for something better always. And you can you can smell it literally. Oh, horrible. Yeah, the smell is like from here all the way to the next light. I'm not kidding. It's that bad from where I live at. I don't live I live about two lights down and I could smell it from here, from there too. It's bad. And I could see everything on the floor too, running on the floor. The feces, the liquid, I don't know what liquid that was. Running that, out of this yes, property. Running out of this house, yes. Uh huh, on the sides. You say that you blame more than anyone else the owner of this home behind me. Absolutely, yes, because she's the one that started this mess, Take, abusing people. That's for me, that's abuse. So I don't know what else to tell you. It's, I'm just so, so upset that it's happening here. We didn't know about it. I smelled it. I always smelled it like for, I would say, three to four years, three years. I would smell it, but until I saw it in the news, because you can't, if you look at it, you can't see it from here. No, you, have, you would have no idea. No, they hide it. And we would pass by here and we'd say, oh, what's that smell? You know, it was horrible. And it's like, and then we saw the news and we finally realized, yeah, what it was, sadly. Yes, sadly. yes. So. Erendia, thank you so much for your time. Um, again, we don't know if the owner plans on leaving the property. We do understand that a lot of the folks who are living inside the RVs have been packing up their belongings, leaving this morning, planning on leaving as well. Uh, but but until then, this is a court order, judge mandated removal of everyone with their belongings. We know the power has been shut off. The RVs have been red tagged and that the owner of this house is due back in court early August. Reporting live in Somara, send it back to you both in the studio.